Things people say in order to avoid giving you a compliment or congratulating you. And before we dive into this video, I heard a really famous author say that if you tell someone good news for a microsecond, you might, you might catch them frowning and they will either have that disappointment and then say something positive or they'll lean into that and say something negative to you. And also the opposite. If you tell them something bad, like, hey, I didn't get that job for a split second, you'll catch them smiling because they're delighting in the fact that something bad has happened to you. Anyway, back to the point. Things people say in order to avoid giving you a compliment or congratulating you. One, they give you advice. You're super excited. You tell them that you just got a house. And instead of them saying congratulations, they say, I really hope you got good homeowner's insurance. Again, is that necessarily a bad thing to bring up? No, but it's all about timing. They bring up the elements. For example, you might be wearing this really cute short dress with some nice flats. I'm just making up something. Don't take the example too seriously. And they walk up to you and say, ooh, I know you're cold. Now, instead of giving you a compliment, they have to dive into the fact that you must be uncomfortable. Is it a bad thing to point out that somebody might be cold? No, again, it's the timing. You knew the weather once you left your house and got into your car. You felt the elements around you and still you chose to be cute instead. So you don't need to be reminded of how cold you might be or how hot you might be if it's the opposite. This one, I might just be being petty. But if I tell you something that I just got and you say, welcome to the club. I don't know why that pisses me off so much. Maybe one of you guys can explain it to me. But don't do it yet. Watch the rest of my video. Thank you. If I tell you that I got a particular thing and you say, I got, I got five of those, is there anything wrong with you saying that necessarily? No. But again, it's the timing of when you choose to say certain things. The next thing, they'll point out something that they perceive to be a flaw. For example, you show them your ring because you just got engaged. You're super excited. And they ask, is this a certified diamond? Does any of that bullshit matter? N no, it doesn't. But they have to say something to bring you down a few notches, right? The next thing, they express and brag about how much they don't know about or care about something that you care about. For example, you might be excited because a certain verified celebrity or account followed you back on social media. And they will say something like, oh, wow, I must be out of the loop or I must be old because I have no clue who that is. I'm not the type of person who's going to yuck your yum. If you tell me about something like that and I genuinely don't know who the person is, I'm going to be excited about it and then Google who the fuck that person is. But I'm going to share in your joy because that's a big fucking deal to you. And I love that. Being an adult is realizing that sometimes people are going to hit certain milestones before you or they might have more than you in a certain particular area in life. They might be more... I don't know, attractive than you. Not that that really even matters. They might be at a place in their life that you wish you were at. Being an adult is realizing that it's okay to be jealous, but instead of pointing that outward and being a dick to people, point it inward and ask yourself, why do you feel that way? 